Inspired by the world of plants, Festodidactic took the working mechanisms of water lilies and mimosa as the model for the development of the bionic flower. These plants have one thing in common, the opening and closing of their petals or leaves due to external stimuli. Let's take a closer look at the natural models. The water lily is an aquatic plant that is anchored in bodies of water. The single standing flowers have a spiral-like structure triggered by light and thus allow the opening and closing of their petals. Day flowering water lilies open their petals in the morning and thus attract insects to pollinate the flowers. But how exactly does the movement of the petals work? The principle is based on differences in growth between the outside and inside of the petals. So the inside of the petals grows under bright light and the flower opens. If there is not enough light, the outer side grows and the flower closes. While water lilies react to the daylight, the leaves of the mimosa fold one after the other when subjected to mechanical stimuli, such as touch or vibration nearby, and the stem sinks. This serves to protect against possible predators. The successive folding of the leaves takes place like a chain reaction. With the bionic flower, these natural mechanisms of action of water lily and mimosa have now been transferred to the world of technology by means of sensors and actuators. <laughs>